Today I'm talking about the governor adjustments on a Kohler K532 or a 538 with a adjustable variable speed governor. This happens to be in my Melro Clark Equipment Bobcat 520. This page is not in the actual service manual for your 520 or 530. This is actually your, your Kohler manual, which I found a copy of off of Scribd. If you subscribe to Scribd, you can find you it. Search that Kohler K532, you'll find the manual. You can see here, they kind of give you a standard setup to show you what kind of RPMs you're running and what you're limiting yourself to. Uh, this Bobcat calls for a 3200 RPM max. So I was actually down on 2400, so I was on two and four, or two and three, sorry. So we went ahead and moved it up to three and four. Then we adjusted your speed bracket and moved the screw until we were running about 3150. And then you'll see in this next video, we can go from 850 to 3150 to see that it's the carburetor's dialed in and the governor's set correctly, so. You are going to need something like this. Okay, this is a uh, Harbor Freight photo tack. This little piece of paper or reflective paper off of that, and it tells you what your RPM is. Just hold straight on it and not shake your hands like you're going through the DT, as it turns out. If the illustration didn't make sense. You have two adjustments you make to, to limit your RPMs and or increase your RPMs. If you're not running the RPMs you need, you'll bog down under load and you'll know it. Uh, the machine won't work correctly. You're going to adjust the sensitivity with this spring and the position of it, and that kind of tighter the tighter the spring is pulled, the less sensitive it is. So we've got our bracket moved backwards. We've got our governor arm set at number three, our speed bracket set at number four, and then we went ahead and used the set screw to increase our RPMs till we were in the range that we wanted to be in. So I hope that helps anybody that's working on one of these old Kohler K. 532 or 538 motors.